Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are going to be doing a flight simulator flight today and we are going to be doing a flight around the Caribbean. We will be doing a sort of on-air company mission, uh, a little cargo run between a couple of the Caribbean islands. So before we get kicked off today, I'd like to just say if you like today's video please hit the like button and if you want to see more content from the channel please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon. So we're going to kick off today and we are doing a flight from uh, Gustav Rojas Inila International Airport in uh, the Caribbean to Chabao international in the Dominican Republic um, it should be a relatively short flight today because it's only about 700 nautical miles we'll be making the flight in a, uh, se um, a Cessna longitude um, we um, here on the runway um, we will be flying with on-air company um, so let's kind of get things sorted and set off and so we we'll get the tracking started with on our company um, Flights a little bit different to our usual um, We've been taking off uh, do, do a lot more flights in the Dreamliner, but this one is a new one So let's power up the engines and get rolling So we're looking for the usual sort of takeoff altitude here. Uh, so takeoff speed of around 180 knots. Um, we are in the slightly smaller jet aircraft. Um, this is a, a short flight, so we've gone for a different aircraft this time. We are rolling on the runway. We are getting to a point of takeoff speed. I want to get to an altitude of around about 2,000 feet before I start making my turn. We will be flying at about 280 knots when we get um, up there. And we'll be sort of getting to an altitude of about 30,000 feet. Making our turn. We essentially actually have to do a full 180 degree turn, uh, unfortunately, uh, to get to our uh, target destination. Uh, we will be landing at runway 11 uh, at Jabal International. Um, I apologise if I've mispronounced the, uh, the two place names. Um, we say we're flying over Caribbean. You see, our we started from this island here, and we're just sort of making a turn over the island. And you see, as we will cross over the island and the airport there, just in the distance, we just took off from. So we'll be climbing up to about thirty thousand feet, and we will be. Uh, making that sort of climb. I will uh, run some times acceleration on this flight just so we don't have the full thing um, to sit through. We are going to climb up. I'm actually going to run probably not my usual times four mag uh, magnification of time but times three. This is a much more um, 
nimble aircraft so it does require a little less uh, time time acceleration we essentially started off at just a little bit over um, 780 nautical miles from um, our destination and we're making the turn and uh, we are climbing to our cruising altitude Zoom back on. Got a yeah, nice big loop turn after we took off, and uh, we're kind of flying along nicely. You can see from our on company flight. And I'll follow our aircraft and see this lovely turn that we did. Um, from San Andreas is the island. And we're actually heading all the way up here across the uh, Caribbean Sea to the Dominican Republic. And we'll be landing here at uh, close to Santiago. So let's see well we're at twelve thousand feet now. Nice uh, maintaining a nice two eighty knots and uh, we are looking at an ETA of nineteen fifty Zulu at the moment. Um, that should come down a little bit depending on the, um, the old uh, cruising altitude. We are climbing though. The flight will probably take about an hour uh, with the slightly reduced time compression on. But once we get up to uh, 30,000 feet I will uh, kind of time-lapse the, the flight and uh, uh, we're carrying a couple of bits of cargo actually a couple of missions we're running uh, they had two pickups at um, our destination but we're only going to be doing one of the drop-offs on this flight uh, so we're, we're moving um, 542 pounds of cargo to um, uh, Chibao International uh, but we're also carrying another 152 pounds of cargo uh, for another flight at a later stage. Uh, we're running a mission um, in, on our company, one of the actual um, level missions which needs to be flown by a human and we're flying um, around the Caribbean here today. Um, it's a relatively short flight but uh, uh, it's a nice little Caribbean flight we are doing. We're running with live weather and uh, air, and uh, live air traffic, and it's a beautiful day in the Caribbean at the moment. We are running uh, real time as well. Uh, sorry, not real time, actual time. So we have not adjusted our takeoff time to be more favourable for the day or time. We're actually flying um, at essentially real time, um, at uh, some actual time. So we took off effectively at 5:30 ish 
hours, or 17, 30-ish hours, Zulu. Uh, we were running with 100% fuel because we could, we um, might as well. And we're just crossing uh, 21,000 feet and uh, we're eight minutes out from our source air, um, airfield. Our ETA is slowly coming down. So we're flying in the Cessna longitude. Which is different from our usual. Um, I I've generally fly a lot more often in um, the, uh, the 7, 4, uh, 787 Dreamliner. Uh, sometimes fly in this Cessna longitude. And there uh, we have that, uh, that aircraft here. We are coming up to 24,000 feet. We are 717 nautical miles from our destination. We're cruising on at 280. See, we're, uh, we're coming all nice there anyway. Shouldn't be a problem. See, let's take a look inside the cockpit. This is the uh, the cockpit of the longitude. It's a nice cockpit. Uh, we don't have a co-pilot. Well, we do technically have a co-pilot uh, on this flight. Um, we just don't see them when they're sat here. It's quite a nice cockpit. It is a business jet, after all. Uh, we are our heading is 59 degrees to the destination and uh, we are closing on 29,000 feet which is not far from our cruising altitude that we'll be cruising at today we will be cruising um, so I'd probably run about 430 uh, ground speed I think um, we're Currently, no, actually, probably a little bit. Yeah, probably about 430, 432 ground speed and 280 knots. And we're just coming up on that 30,000 feet. And. Yeah. So what we'll do is um, I'm going to sort of cruise this along and leave you guys to it. I'll probably drop back about halfway and you guys with a shot of the Cessna there. And uh, yeah, I will check back in when we're about halfway there. Um, so with that, uh, see you guys in a bit.
so we are a little bit over halfway and uh, we are cruising quite nicely at just shy of uh, 30,000 feet uh, we are running an airspeed of 280 knots and we're holding that our ground speed is 431 knots our ETA is kind of looking in about 30 minutes time um, so we are going along quite nicely here uh, we have plenty of fuel and uh, yep we are, we are uh, cruising along nicely so I will see you in a little while um, I'll probably pop back at about 150 nautical miles away from our destination uh, before we start a descent uh, which I'm kind of looking to start at around about uh, 100 nautical miles um, and then we'll do a 50 nautical miles and we will start our approach turns to get on track to land at uh, Chibao International in the Dominican Republic. Hello and welcome back from that. Uh, we are crossing over the coast now of Haiti. Um, ahead of us is Port-au-Prince. Um, but we are sort of rocking along here, heading to the Dominican Republic. Um, so we are doing quite nicely here. Um, we are 135 nautical miles out and uh, we shall be taking um, our descent very soon um, but we are working along nicely got a uh, spattering of cloud um, quite low there over the uh, the hills and mountains um, of Haiti so we are coming up um, on the down there on the uh, the right you can just see Port-au-Prince we will, will be flying over Port-au-Prince um, we shall we won't have actually started I, I don't think we'll have started our descent yet by a time there was a bit of wind um, as we are cruising here a bit of turbulence uh, but we're managing to hold it steady crossing uh, so we're over the uh, the land now and we shall be sort of flying over Haiti before we cross over into the Dominican Republic the flight has been relatively uneventful um, we've got some AI traffic or some live traffic crossing ahead of us but uh, 
It's a good bit lower than we are, so we're good. So, yeah, we are cruising along nicely here. Heading's changed a slight amount. Um, to 67 degrees but it's not a huge deviation from what we started off with so I'm going to start to make a descent very soon and we should be okay um, and I'll be sort of well, as I start descent I drop out of time acceleration and the last 100 miles will be um, Kind of real time so probably about 15 minutes away from landing uh, we're starting our descent uh, it's going to be a relatively gentle descent um, we're not going down too quickly we'll sort of try and aim for about 15,000 feet um, so as we descend but we will be making a, a sort of since a turn so we can get on track to land at runway 11 um, at uh, uh, Jabal International. It's been a nice flight in this Cessna longitude um, since uh, the uh, the guys at ASBO fixed the uh, the fuel efficiency on the longitude. Um, doing long flights with it is uh, vastly improved. I think the longest I've taken it is about 4,000 nautical miles. Um, it was a very very tight um, flight in the sense that uh, we landed on almost no fuel whatsoever, uh, and it was a very close call. Um, We've only consumed about 7% of fuel on this flight, um, but it's been a, a relatively uneventful flight so far. We are descending, uh, we're at uh, 26,500 feet or thereabouts, and uh, we are 87 nautical miles from our destination. We will shortly be crossing the border from Haiti to uh, uh, the Dominican Republic. Probably three or four nautical miles. We're still over the mountainous area, um, but for it, not necessarily a problem for us because we are at quite a significant altitude. Uh, it becomes more of a problem when we get low. We should be good. So it's a bit of wind buffeting and the turbulence as we descend. Nothing too serious there. So we've got uh, some cloud up ahead. Uh, looks quite thick actually. Um, but uh, we might pass through that before we actually get to it. Or we'll get below it anyway. I'm not quite sure. It's quite a way off there. We are crossing the border now. We're pretty close to. Santo Domingo Center, Cessna November 7679er, Yankee flight level 240. Cessna November 7679er, Yankee Santo Domingo Center, continue as planned. And, uh, looks, looks good so far. We are uh, 
been flying for a little over an hour. Oh, sorry, a little under an hour. 54 minutes. And um, so we're about 15, well, actually, probably a little bit less, maybe 10 minutes or so. Before we get to a point where we can land. Not a hugely long flight. Um, but we did run with a slightly lower time acceleration than I usually will fly with on a 787, which is uh, three times reduction, essentially. Um, usually run with about four on the 787. Um, it's manageable um, at that thing, but this aircraft is a little bit more nimble, so in effect with a slight control with uh, change with... Uh, times four and that, um, will result in quite a big deviation so we'll drop it down a little bit further we're coming up to 69 nautical miles and we're uh, coming up to 21,000 feet we're cruising along at 220 knots a nice steady speed Ground speed is uh, 300 knots. We run a heading of 68 degrees. And we're going to be crossing the 20k barrier very soon. So we're below 20,000 feet and we are at 64 nautical miles. Got some uh, quite mountainous uh, stuff coming up and I'm kind of hoping we are not going to have much of an issue with that in terms of altitude looking at the map up ahead we will be coming in to uh, runway 11 so that is this uh, sort of west to east runway here on the map Pretty sure that's the one we'll be taking. And I worked it out, so we will be kind of turning, sort of taking a, uh, a left turn so we can come in on this when we hit about 50 nautical miles. We are crossing 17,800 feet. Pretty sure these mountains will be okay. There's cloud up ahead. And we're at 54 nautical miles from our destination. Looking at the map and uh, our altitude and everything else, I think we should be okay on this mount on this mountainous area. Not flown into uh, this airport before, so this is a little bit new for me. And we shall see how we go. We 
actually kind of thinking I should have come in from the other room white, it would probably be a bit easier. Mm. Not so sure though. This runway is the one with the ILS on it, um, so this is probably the one that's more often used for uh, landing. Which one would think it would be the better runway for landing approach. We shall see. seeing the cloud cover very soon we lose a little bit of visibility as we cross through the cloud hopefully the weather underneath the cloud is just as good as it is above the cloud No, in my luck it will be raining. And there's probably a really big mountain underneath us at this very moment in time. That I'm not going to see until it's far too late. I think we're on the back side of this, of whatever mountain this is anyway. Uh, looking at my uh, map from uh, uh, from flight, uh, FS flight control. It looks like we're on the back side of whatever it is. So we should be good. Just going to stay above... Uh, a radio altitude of 6,400 feet. You can see our destination there in the distance, 37 nautical miles. We have to be a bit careful because we're coming down across these uh, mountainous areas and we are um, we've got an altitude according to the altimeter of 10,000 feet but our radio altitude I ground above ground altitude is around 3,900 so we do have to bear that in mind and we've only got a 6k clearance Uh, well, there's a 6 clay difference between the two, so we do need to bear that in mind as we come off all of this mountain. We've got a little bit of turbulence off the, the, uh, the mountains there. Uh, we're heading towards our point where we'll sort of make our turn to approach. Slightly off angle, 61 degrees. Um, we're we'll at 70 degrees for the actual field itself. Doing quite nicely, 29 nautical miles. Again, 
little bit of uh, turbulence as we descend. Not too bad though. Slowed our descent a little bit when we were going over that mountainous area because I didn't want to get caught um, going too fast, too low. And so too fast didn't get too low. Um, but we are past all of that now. So we can descend a little bit more swiftly. Doing nicely now. So we're going a little bit quicker on the descent so we can get down. Kind of aiming for about 4,000 feet. Three, yeah, 4,000 feet should do the trick. Airspeed is. Uh, is uh, 250, uh, so 228 knots. And ground speed is 250. So it's kind of going a little bit quicker on the descent, but that's because we're going a bit steeper. Start making our turn very soon. Uh, passing over, not sure what that settlement is to allow us, but uh, a lot of not of nice green um, forestry, and woodland, and jungle, and whatever. Destination is over there in the distance, 19 nautical miles. Speed is up a little bit to 234. So, altitude above the ground is 3500 and 3400. Our actual altitude, according to the altimeter, is 4800. I'm going to start to turn into the approach and then I'm going to call for um, you very soon. I'm going to call for a, a landing slot as it were. Slow down a little bit then. We'll be uh, landing on runway 11. We've got, as I said, we've got real live traffic, and apparently it's a United Airlines flight. Um, it is uh, approaching the airfield. Don't see where that is at the moment. I'm going to call for. Landing clearance. We are 13 nautical miles away. We'll be landing at runway 11.
making your pattern entry very soon. Quite nicely. Just turning in. Gear is going down. And turn this. remember where it is on this. Of course, here. So I'm paying no attention Need to get back on course. Just trying to set the barometer and uh, notice it was 30.09 and we're on 29.92. Kind of like the standard, and uh, I should set that up actually on the. Uh, so I use something called Sim Dashboard, and I have a flight control dashboard on there. And I should really set up the the barometer setting on there actually. There. We should be better. Right, I think we're doing better on this. We might not be spot on the runway. Not quite sure. We are. A little bit off. Oh, it looks like we're not level either. Maybe that's just the, um, the helpful markers. We're looking it off. United Airlines flight is probably somewhere behind us. I'm hoping he's not that far. Be um, I'm hoping he's far enough behind us not to be a problem. Close call there for a moment. We were very, very tight on that on that turn and vastly um, off course. That um, we we pulled that one out of the bag. Well, I think a little bit low. Can I jump the pause up a little bit? So we're not 
not descending too quickly. Big bounce. Oh, no, that was a rough landing. Oh, man, that was rough. Oh, we bounced quite quite heavily there. We were pretty, uh, pretty, uh, what's the word? Um, yeah, that was, that was kind of rough. So, I'm trying to get off this one more. Won't see a taxiway anywhere. Um, the taxiway is yeah. Uh oh. Going too quick. She so was going to have us park. I think over there by the uh, the jetway, but we are a small aircraft. I'm not sure how that jetway is going to work for us. Um, There we are, we've arrived um, at Jabal International. Uh, we are flying for about 1 hour 15 minutes. Run landing was really quite rough. We did do quite big bounces. But uh, that was fine. We managed to survive. And we are taxing to the gate. Um, we have a United Airlines flight landing shortly behind us, so we're alive. We're not actually at a gate, it is literally kind of miles away from the thing, but it's going to have us turn. Park there next to the truck. And there we have it. Here we are at our destination. And um, welcome to the Dominican Republic. And um, we will uh, call the flight at that point. Um, Trying to figure out where the actual uh, engine uh, switch is on this thing. But uh, that is pretty sure. We are done. So with that, thank you for uh, for flying with us here.
and I will see you guys next time. Um, and uh, yeah, that was the flight to uh, to the Dominican Republic from uh, Gustav Reyes Pinila International Airport in the Caribbean. So with that, thanks for watching. If you liked today's video, hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. But I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.